Hey guys, so everybody keeps asking me for an update on my BBL. Um, I am how many weeks? Eight weeks, nine weeks, maybe. Um, it was. It looks like I have a unibrow. What's going on? Um, I had my surgery February 10th. I had a BBL with Dr. Pendergrass here at Me Aesthetics Atlanta. You wanna say hi? Hi. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Um, I am still compressing, still swelling, oh. still getting massages, but. This is my waist. My waist is, I think, 35. And then, let me see if I can put you guys down so you can see my booty. Excuse me, Mama. She is still thicker than a dang snicka. And here I am measuring 47, 47 inches. Still flat. Um, I do have a few problem areas, but I think, okay, to be honest, y'all, so in Georgia, there's a limit of five liters. That's how much fat they can take out of you. And so I feel like if you're a bigger girl, because I was a bigger girl, um, my BMI was what, like 30, 31? Um, then go to DR, oops, go to DR or somewhere that is gonna take out more if that's what you want. I think I have a very natural look. My stomach is snatched, I'm snatched. Um, but of course, everybody wants that like video of some tiny little waist. So I do want another round of Lipo 360. But everything is going good. I am still doing a um, high protein, low carb diet, very minimum salt as often as possible. And I work out as often as possible, pretty much like every single day, at least 30 minutes. I do um, a thing called House Party Hit, and it's so fun. Um, I've been doing it since last year during the pandemic. I got into it and I absolutely love it. And I can do everything now, like burpees, squats, lift weights, literally everything, and I feel fine. But yeah, um, I am going to reach out to Me Aesthetics actually because I do have a problem area on my thigh. And it seems to be a bit of necrosis, but it's really painful. So um, I'm going to reach out to them soon. I did tell them at my post-op that I had like this weird lump there because I've had it since I had surgery. And um, they pretty much told me, you know, just wait till you're three months. And that's what I've heard from everybody. They're like, wait till you're three months. But Dr. P, she did a really good job on me being the size that I was. And y'all know she does more natural work. Everybody keeps asking me about me aesthetics and what I think about them. To be honest, nobody's going to me aesthetics for their customer service. Nobody. Okay? Nobody. Don't expect them to email you back even that same day or the next day. Like, it's going to take like 72 hours possibly for them to reach out to you. And it's just pretty hectic to get in contact with anybody. I think it was easier for like some of us in the beginning because they were just opening. So maybe they weren't getting as many calls as they are right now. But right now it's pretty much like dang impossible from what I've been seeing and hearing in the groups. But um, yeah, what else? I started sitting down. It felt really weird at first, but like without my BBL pillow. But um, I'm like used to it now, I can sit fine. It's just odd to like sleep is odd to sleep on my back because I can literally feel my cheeks on my back. It feels so weird. Um, what else, what else, what else? All my clothes fits me weird. My shorts don't fit me. I have like this gap in the back all the time now, which is kind of annoying because um, I have to get a whole new wardrobe, but that's kind of nice too because I get to get a whole new wardrobe. I'm fixing to go on vacation. I do still have um, like my scars from the lipo on my back. They're not completely healed. Um, my husband was taking a video of it the other day. If I remember, I'll put it in. It's still a little red there, so I just have to remember to put sunscreen on while I'm on vacation because I'm going to Florida. And I don't want it to have scars or anything. I have just a little bit of loose skin, but really not any. I think just with working out and like some tightening creams maybe, that'll help. I did try taping, but the thing with taping is, you guys, I really... I don't know, to be honest, because I'm not a doctor, but I don't think it's a long-term fix. I think if you're taping, you're going to have to keep taping because gravity is gravity. Um, but I don't know. Then again, I'm, like I said, I'm not a dang doctor, but I do feel like I might need, well, I will, I definitely, I don't need it, but I want another round of Lipo 360. And if I'm already going to have a revision right here, because there is like a little like dent there too, where that necrosis is or what I suspect to be necrosis, then I'm going to go ahead and add lipo 360 if possible because i'm already going to be under so why not right and as far as the revision goes i don't know what the process is i watched one video on youtube and it did not seem <laughs> like it's a good thing to go through them like sometimes it's better to just go somewhere else completely because the girl said the girl's video that i watched she said that pretty much they don't take any more out or add anymore they just move it around 
so I don't know but she had like a her lipo was like a little wonky and I sometimes do get a fluid like a fluid thing right above my belly button but I massage it often and my husband massages it and then I'll compress and it'll go away um, but yeah, you guys get your massages for real. Don't be cheap and think that you're going to be fine with just 10 massages. No, not at all. Like you're definitely going to need a lot more. I was going to nurse Nikki. She's amazing. Her prices are amazing. I know she added somebody to her practice or to her little, um, uh, to her whatever, but she got hurt. And so I don't know if she's back yet. She might be back soon, I think, but she's so good. So good. But, yeah, that's it as far as an update. I don't know what else you guys want to know, but I'm doing good. Yeah. Bye.